The TinkerPie robot is a learning platform that can run with any of the open source microcontrollers, such as Circuit Playground, Raspberry Pi, Microbit, and as we'll be doing in this tutorial, the Arduino. The first thing we'll do is attach the caster, or third wheel, to the bottom. Next, we'll attach the motors. There are four brackets and two screws that hold the motors on. Feed the wires up through the bottom layer. The bridges hold the top layer to the bottom layer. Snap the bridges into the base layer, then use the screws. Place the colored top against the black top and screw them together using the center holes. Snap the black tires onto the colored wheels. It works best if you start at the bottom and work your way up. Insert the hubs into the wheels. Be sure to insert the hub through the more decorative side, not the flat side. Next, insert the wheels onto the motors and screw them on. Attach the motor board snap, which will allow you to snap the motor board onto the robot. Snap the motor board onto the top layer. Apply the Velcro tabs to the battery and place it between the two slats on the bottom layer of the robot. Now this is very important. Don't plug the battery in until the rest of your wiring is all connected. If you touch the wires together, this will cause a short and the battery will heat up. So with the two short wires disconnected from the battery, run them up through the front slot. Plug the red wire into the first terminal. Plug the black wire along with another longer black wire into the second terminal. The second wire will be used as a common ground with the Arduino. Attach the Arduino snap onto the board and snap the board onto the top of the robot. Run a red wire from the third terminal on the motor board to the Arduino's VIN pin. This will provide power to the Arduino when it's not plugged into the computer. Connect the ground wire that we connected in the last step from the motor board. Next, we'll plug in the Bluetooth module. If you're building this, you can use the written instructions in the comments. When you connect the motors to the motor board, plug the black wires to the inside of the board toward the heat sink. It kind of looks like a pencil sharpener. You'll need to remove the jumpers from the outside pins on the motor driver if they're on. These outside pins are to control the speed of the motors. These need to be plugged into the pins that can do pulse width modulation, or pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. Plug in the A and B wires for each motor using this diagram. Pause here if you need to. In this video, we assembled the TinkerPie robot for Arduino using the universal chassis that can be used for Raspberry Pi, Microbit, and more boards to come. Click here to move on to the next step where we'll learn to program the robot using App Inventor and Arduino.